ninth largest area of the world. A symbiosis of East and West. A country of great opportunities. Bright impressions. Everything you wanted to know about Kazakhstan. Important notes, useful routes in the program Routes and Notes. For its territory, Aktobe region is one-ninth of Kazakhstan and can compete with the major European states. Aktobe region has an attractive investment climate and it is known for many business people, but few people are familiar with its rich natural diversity, wooded gorges with fast rivers in the north of the region, plains in the middle, sand dunes on the south. Traveling in the Aktobe region, you will be able to meet unique archaeological, geological and natural monuments, historical and cultural sites, friendly and hospitable people. One hundred and fifty years ago, in the western Kazakhstan, the construction of fortresses began. They appeared on the banks of rivers Irgis, Karabutak, Ilek and Kargala. The fortress that consisted from other several fortresses in 1869 was called Aktobe. In Kazakh it means White Hill. On the hillside of Aktobe, a historical part of the city is located. It is easy to spend time with great interest and use in Aktobe. There are theaters, concert halls, cinema theaters, entertainment centers and cozy hotels. Clearly you will not be bored. On every step you take, there are sociable people and unexpected discoveries. The museums of the city of Aktobe, only here you can see the unique exhibits, the remains of ancient animals. In 1912, the first remains of the giant mammal in Drikateria in the world were found in Irgis area. This is a large animal, reaching a length of 8 meters, it lived in the forests. And on the banks of the river Ilek were found deer antler descendants, the skull of prehistoric remains of the fallen ball and a meteorite of million years old. By the way, the crater, about 13 kilometers wide, is also a unique place where even now the fossilized shellfish and corals and tectites, which are glass entities of black and dark green color, can be found under your feet. Some scientists believe that tectites are melted during the explosion of terrestrial rocks. Others incline to extraterrestrial origin of these materials, suggesting that these substances are the real components of the comet's nucleus. что более 300 миллионов лет назад на этой территории, где сегодня Актюбинская область, была часть Древнего океана... 300 миллион лет назад, а часть of an ancient ocean laid on the territory of Aktobe region. Moreover, natural monuments existing today on the territory of Aktobe region prove that large forests grew there. Sticky elder, birch and anthill remained from the period when the earth was just beginning to turn green and huge animals like Indricotherium, one of the first mammals of the earth, inhabited those forests. Aktobe residents are very proud that the hero of the Soviet Union, Aliya Moldagulova, was born here. During the battle with the Nazis, when no one could raise their head in the machine gun fire, a 19 years old Aliya Moldagulova stood up and raised the Soviet soldiers for an attack. Meta galaxy, star systems, black holes, evolution of the universe and much more what surrounds our planet can be seen here. Aktobe Planetarium is one of the main attractions of the city.
Aktobe has a pigeon club. There are not many of them in Kazakhstan. They don't operate in all cities. Experts complain that due to the lost connections with pigeons, some breeds have been lost, and in order to prevent that, Aktobe regularly hosts exhibitions of precious pet birds. Central Stadium is the main football arena of the city and the home arena of the football club Aktobia. Central Stadium adorns the city since 1975. It was the first unique facility of its kind in the Soviet Union, as it was originally built only for football. The first match was held here between Aktobinets, which at the time was playing in the second division of the USSR Championship, and CSKA Moscow. One of the natural wonders of the artificial field is Kargali Reservoir. Its total area is about 30 square kilometers. The coastline length is 45 kilometers. Local fishermen prefer Kargali Reservoir. It is great for fishing for carp, crucian and goldfish. Here pike fishing enthusiasts will find their happiness. There are lots of pike in the reservoir. Well, fans of luxury fish come here in the winter. In the middle of January, the reservoir is full of white fish. Not far from the reservoir, a farm is located, where commercial pond sturgeon, carp and trout are successfully bred. In the same area there is a natural waterfall and the legendary Mute village. Mute Aul is an archaeological site. The mysterious name of the village comes from a psychic. Nobody knows his name. Local legend says that the people would come to this man to get answers to various questions, but the psychic never went to the people. Usually a woman would come out and interpret the visions of the psychic. Maybe that's why the village is called Mute, because it is all quiet and without much to say. A trip – two days. Trip price – 20 to 30 dollars. A place of hundred man-made lakes, pine forest, mixed forest, unique places of growth of ferns – all these natural attractions can be found in Martuk area along the transport corridor Western Europe – Western China. A trip – two days. Trip price – 40 to 50 dollars. Oyil district is an amazing place in terms of the history. Once popular Kokzarskaya fair was held here, which was located on the route of the Silk Road. To this day it has retained a shopping arcade. Also tourists can visit the pine forest and sands bark in. By the way, even sand treatments for people suffering from various diseases were developed here. The first mention of the procedures of sand was on the cuneiform tablets of Babylon. This procedure is called psamma therapy, literally meaning it is a treatment with a heated sand. A trip price $60 to $70. Irgis area is a great place for those who enjoy bird watching. Here you can see pink flamingos, which have a population of not more than a few thousand all over the world. This town has a beautiful name City on a White Hill. It absorbed the rich history of its people. Modern Aktobe is a city that loves new things and cherishes tradition, and city residents are very proud of achievements of their ancestors, they love their football team and are happy to greet every new day.